<laughs> oh, I'm fucking melting. <laughs> Shut up, we're injured, you bitch. My name's Matt, welcome back. <laughs> Jesus. My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop. If you uh, first, you know, this is your first encounter with me and this channel, God help you. Um, yes, I have a carer. I lost them quite a while back and they won't find me. Any road, today we're talking about tolerances and clearances. Because a lot of people say one and the other. It doesn't really annoy me that much, but let's just talk about the difference. So, um, we're going to use totally use engine analogies for this. So, a clearance. Um, is the, the the clearance the distance how the clear air nothing between two components so you can have a cylinder wall like this and then you can have a piston oh getting back into the drawing a piston like this and the clearance will be this bit now, usually when we measure clearances, there has to be a defined control to this. So generally they'll say, when the engine's cold, when you do your valve clearances between your cam, bucket, rocker, finger, bloody shims, tappets, whatever, the clearances will be said when the engine is cold. Why? Because if they say, hold it 165 degrees and then measure it, you can't do that. You know what I mean? And generally the average temperature on Earth uh, is about the same, which is a good point. If you are measuring your clearances, your valve clearances and stuff like that, and you live in Norway, you need to do it inside. You need to do it around about between uh, 15 and 25 degrees. Uh, some Well, let's not say that, because if we say that, then there's people who live in climates. Let's say between 10 degrees and, I don't know, 30 degrees. That's generally where you want to sit it. Um, you know, if you just went out and ragged your engine, some people's engines are going to be hotter than others and your clearances are going to be fucking everywhere. But if you do live out in the middle of the fucking sticks in Norway or somewhere like that and it's bloody cold, it's minus five outside or zero, you need to bring that bike in, you need to leave it for a couple of days just to make sure that it's all warmed up to within this temperature range. Um, it's not imperative, you might just get shitty readings. Um, you know, if it's minus 10, say, something like that, you know what I mean? Um, and if you are trying to build a log, because some people do, they measure their tappet clearances and stuff over time, record the, make sure you make a note of the temperature, because if it's slightly out, but that day was fucking 35 degrees, then that gives you a cause for the reason why. But that's clearances. There are clearances everywhere. There are oil, oil gallery clear, and um, oil bearing, your bearing clearances, your oil clearances between your bearings and camshafts, uh, cam uh, camshafts, crankshafts, big end bearings. There's clearances absolutely everywhere. There's also the uh, C rating for bearings like C4, C3, CN, stuff like that, which we'll go through because someone did ask me a question about that. I need to remember to do that. I'll write that down in a second. That's clearances. People say tolerances all the time. They'll say in Formula One engines, I hear and people say in the comments, I've heard people say it in real life. Oh, well, they've got really tight tolerances in Formula 1 because the engine needs to be warmed up. No, fucking hell, that's rubbish. You've been talking about the wrong thing. Tolerances, and we have stuff like tolerance stacks, tolerance analysis, all this rest of it. It's all to do with manufacture. So, it's hot. We want a cube. We want a cube making, or we want a bearing shell making, or we want a valve... Uh, shim making or we want a bucket or we want a camshaft or something shit like this and we want this box this cube to be exactly 10 millimeters right and then what you'll do is you'll write on it plus or minus uh, 50 microns that is a tolerance right this is a tolerance it's got nothing to do with clearances clearances are like I say they're the, the gaps between things the clear air the fuck all Tolerances are all to do with manufacturing, and basically what it means is, is when you manufacture something, how in size is this? We did the thing before where we had, um, 
where we had our no go go gauge, uh, which is this bad boy. Um, you can't fucking see that very well. Where we have this gauge, we basically measure if things are within tolerance or not. And that's what tolerance means, and this is what China is missing <laughs> pretty much completely. When we get something like this and it comes in at 10 point, idiot, 10.064 like that, that is out of tolerance. This is too big. Same, it can work the other way. If this turns out to be 9.043, that is well out of tolerance. We are fucking miles off from where we want to be. And this is what IQC is, internal quality control, or OQC, which is outgoing quality control, um, is basically taking stuff on the line and then measuring it against standards in um, usually we have uh, engineering rooms basically where it's humidity and temperature controlled so all our readings are all measured at the same environmental conditions. Um, our tolerance is how good or how within spec these parts are. In China they just keep on chucking shit out until fucking the, the factory sets on fire, someone's head explodes, fucking Donald Trump pays a visit, whatever. They just keep on doing it and things go out of fucking tolerance all the time because the moulds, the tooling, it gets knackered, it gets fucked and it just turns to shit. Now you can have toler you can have loads of different kinds of tolerances. Um, you can have viscosity tolerances, you can have um, thermal tolerances, you can have all of this um, basically dimensional or scale... <laughs> scaled quantities that basically define what you should or shouldn't be building. Um, if you look in your, you can see what some of the tolerances are inside your manual. If you look a lot of your motorbike manuals and all the rest of it, it will say um, the main journal for your crank should be the original state, so new it'll say, or something like that, or initial measurement, it will say this, um, or it'll say that so that's that's literally what it should have been originally and you've actually had a window into the tolerance there that is the tolerance between those two is that these parts should not be over 46 millimeters in diameter and they should not be under 54.980 so this is a tolerance this is a uh, plus zero minus 20 microns that's what that tolerance is. You can you can also set windows to these tolerances, this this tolerance envelope, where you can say it cannot be bigger, but it can be a bit smaller. Or vice versa, it can be a bit smaller, but not a bit bigger. Stuff like that. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.